Hey, what's up, guys? First, I want to say God knows best, not me. And I want to share something with you guys. Um, a question I heard someone questioning uh, a believer. He said, uh, why is there no miracles in the Quran? Why is there no miracles from God? And when it made me think, firstly, you know, you can't get a miracle. You won't you, unless you're acceptable to it for a miracle. You know, a miracle not gonna come to you unless you, uh, someone who is hopeful, someone who has hope, someone who has dreams. You know, you can't uh, fulfill a dream if you don't dream. If you're not a dreamer, if you're not somebody driving and pushing for that. Um, so miracles happen to those who uh, can perceive it when it happens well one of the miracles of the Quran is the fact that we don't know who God is and it clearly states that in the Quran and all through the Quran is the thesis that we don't know the power of God we don't know the true nature of God we don't we can't identify God wholly only but by he, he give us examples and um, I was checking out this video check it out with Ask the non-Muslim, the Christian, close your eyes and imagine your God. Many of them, some people from Africa, African Americans, they will co close their eyes and have an image of a white man, a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes sitting on a big chair and he's dangling his feet like that. Islam didn't leave this to our imagination to figure out who Allah is, where Allah is. The great scholar of Islam, and Imam Malik, tremendous scholar of Islam. Some man came to him from the Muslims and he wanted to argue and debate, how is Allah over that throne? I want to know how. Allah didn't make it your business. He made it wajib upon everybody to be here for Salatul Jummah. He made it wajib for someone to stand up here and give the khutbah. He made it wajib for the lady to wear hijab. He made it wajib for us to fast in Ramadan, those who have the ability. He didn't make it the sunnah, nor did he make it wajib on anyone to try to figure out and find out the details of how he is over his throne. That's not our job. Wajib means the obligation. He's basically explaining to you that God did not create us to figure out who he is or to know him to the point where we can find out his source of creation. That's not why we were created. And um, let's let him go on. Job that's not our business. The man came to Al Imam Malik and said, Tell me, how is Allah over his throne? And Imam Malik mentioned to that man the istiwa of Allah, him being above, him going over. That's well known to the Arabs. You ask any Arab who knows this language, he's going to say it means to go up into a sin. It is known what it means. How he did it is unknown. To believe it is wajib and to ask about it. Now keep in mind as he explains more, he say things like Arab and um, Wajib. Well, Arab is anyone in the sense that he's speaking is not a race of people. It's anyone who speaks the Arabic from the Quran. It's a unique way of understanding the Quran. It's the only way of understanding the Quran. It's a unique um, Arabic 
it's a unique form of Arabic that um, is, is, is completely uh, distinguished, uh, completely for the Quran. Uh, so, so that you know, it's not an Arab like we speaking out the Arab people. Uh, we we talking about Arab people who can read the Quran in its original language. Investigate it. That's an innovation. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has, that Allah Azza wa has fingers. When he says, oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers. You flip them as you wish. Oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on these attributes one would say Akhi, this is similar to humans how can we say this to allah as i say i seek allah's forgiveness so i would say to those who claim this Akhi, this word is known but the meaning is different when i say that an elephant has a leg and i have a leg and an ant has a leg are the legs di similar definitely not and allah Azzawajal has the highest example we do not azawajal simulate him to any of his creatures but you believe that allah is alive so why don't you say that living is also part of human nature allah azawajal subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive allah azawajal is all hearing all seeing so allah sees and allah hears and i hear and i see but there is no resemblance none whatsoever how do the hand of allah look like don't imagine just leave it do Allah have hand? As a believer, what do you say? Yes. Why do you say Allah has haram, shirk? How you compare Allah with human? No, I didn't say Allah's hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand, what can I say? You must say Allah's hand represent his power, his authority. Power, Allah said qudra. Power, the word power means qudra. Or you can is kawiyun, kaharun. But the word yet you open any dictionary, Arabic dictionary. What is the meaning of yet? Literally, yet means hand. Just say it hand. I didn't say Allah said. The Prophet said, "Who knows Allah better than Allah? Who knows Allah better than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam?" If the Prophet said, hand me said hand, how to the hand of Allah? Nothing is similar to Allah's attribute. Ummat al-Islam. This issue is a microcosm of a bigger, wider, greater issue. And the greater issue is we have to learn our Aqidah. We have to learn our Aqidah because again, the importance of the Aqid is that Allah is going to ask you, Who is your Lord? Who do you worship? Thanks for watching that with me, guys. The most important thing I would like y'all to get out of that is, you know, need to learn your Lord. Know who you're worshiping. And recognize that Islam is just a non-biased religion it's not about a race a color you know you see different races tell you the same truth on this video and it's just to open your eyes and sure it has a lot of enemies because the devil is real but uh may the lord guide you all